Hello, Call Sign the Trope here, and welcome to my ASI tutorial videos. In this video, I will teach you about the text buffer and different radio channels of ASI. To open the text buffer, press the forward slash key on your keyboard. This will bring up three different windows. You can change the transparency of these windows in Options, Preferences, and GUI. Slide the slider up for more transparency, and slide it down for a black background. I like having transparency on my windows, so I'm going to turn it up all the way. The first window is your text buffer. This is used to set different radio channels and send messages. The next window is the messages window and displays all messages you receive in game. You can expand this window by pressing the tilde key found right under your escape key on your keyboard. The last window is the voice window. The voice window tells you who is on the same Vox channel as you and who is flying within range of you. You can check the away from keyboard box to highlight your name in red. This lets people know that you are not at your computer. This way people aren't wasting their time trying to send you messages that you aren't even at your computer to read. Uncheck the box to turn your name white letting people know that you are no longer AFK. You can set your messages window to filter specific messages onto different tabs. Right click your tabs to either add a new tab, remove an old tab, edit the filters on the selected tab, and change the font size on the messages. When you create a tab you will get all of these options that you can filter. Checking the box tells the game you want to see messages from this channel. Unchecking the box tells the game you do not want to display messages from this channel. So for example, let's say I want to receive messages from country, room, and squad, but I don't want things like system messages showing up. I'll check the country, room, and squad boxes, and name the tab. Click OK and the tab is created. To select that tab, simply click on it, and now I'm not receiving any system messages anymore. Now for the text buffer. The first four windows across the top of your text buffer are your text channels. The last one is your radio, or Vox channel, used for voice transmissions. There are two types of frequencies you can tune to. One is default channels, which you will find in the drop-down window next to each radio channel. The other is specific channels that go from 100 to 299. More on that in a minute, but first let's go back to the radio channels. The Vox channel, you will hear anyone voice transmitting on that channel or sending text. You can also talk on this channel by pushing your T key and speaking into your microphone. You can even type your name into Vox and talk to yourself with the T key to hear if your microphone is working. Channel 4 you can see text from anyone typing on that frequency without having your Vox tuned to it, but you can't hear voice transmissions. Channels 1, 2, and 3 you can only send text on. You won't see any text or hear any voice transmissions unless channel 4 or Vox is tuned to it. Tuning these channels to country and room are a good idea as you can see country text regardless of what channel 4 or Vox are tuned to. The same is for room but with slight differences. If you're in the tower, hangar, or O club, then you will see text and hear anyone in the room with you who are using room channel. In flight it's slightly different. In flight you will see room text from anyone who took off from the same base as you, but you can't hear voice transmissions until you are within range of them. To see if you are in range of someone for voice transmissions, look to the voice window that appears when you open the text buffer. Channel shows everyone on the same Vox as you. Room is everyone within range to hear voice chat, which is why room is more commonly called range. You can talk to these people by pressing F12 on your keyboard. The default channels you can tune to start at channel 1 for all. 
This sends text that everyone in the arena can see. This has been turned off in most arenas though. Channel 2 is country, which sends text to everyone on your country. Channel 3 is room, which as we just went over, sends text to everyone in the same room as you or who took off from the same base as you. Channel 4 is squad and sends text to everyone in the same squad as you. Channel 5 is mission and sends text to anyone who joined the same mission as you. This channel isn't used very often as people tend to use specific channels or range for missions. The last channel, 6, is help. You can use this channel to ask for help on things you don't know, such as how to join a squad or set convergences on your guns. You will not see text on this channel though unless you have it tuned to channel 4 or Vox. You can also ask for help on country and that might give you a quicker reply since country is sent to everyone regardless of what channels they have tuned. The specific channels you can tune to go from 100 to 299. You tune to these channels by clicking on your channel box and typing it in there. The 100 channels are country specific, so voice and text transmissions on channel 130 for Rooks as an example won't show up for anyone on Bishop channel 130. Many squads also use these channels as their squad channel, rather than the default squad channel. So when you tune to a 100 channel that already has people on it, ask to see if it's okay if you can hang out with them. Most people don't have a problem with it and might even try recruiting you to their squad. Channel 200 to 299, however, are open channels, and anyone tuned to them can see text and hear voice transmissions regardless of what country they're on. Though Channel 1 is disabled in most arenas, Channel 200 is considered the official all channel. Be warned though, as a lot of smack talk does go on on Channel 200, mostly all in good fun, but if you're someone who doesn't enjoy that kind of stuff, then you should avoid Channel 200. And that's how you work the text buffer and radio channels. Remember to keep practicing and one day you'll become an ace pilot yourself.